We can add information to assist with facilities management and space planning directly to our Revit project model, and then use the Revit interface to update and work with that information. For example, one key measure that facilities managers often track to assist with their space planning is the notion of whether spaces are assignable or not assignable. Being able to compute the percentage of assignable space in a building is very helpful for evaluating the efficiency of our space utilization. Let's look at how we can add a parameter for tracking that information to a Revit building model, then build a schedule that will let us analyze and work with the data. We'll start by creating a shared parameter to track whether spaces are assignable, and then assign this parameter to our room elements. Let's start by creating the shared parameter. We'll open the Shared Parameters tool, create a new group to hold our parameters that are related to space utilization, then create a parameter. And for the parameter, we'll call that Assignable, and we'll give that a type of Yes, No. That'll create a simple checkbox that users can check to indicate yes or uncheck to indicate no. Let's say OK. Close that. Close our Edit Shared Parameters window. And now we'll create a project parameter that we could assign to all the room elements. We'll open the Project Parameters tool, add a new parameter, and we'll choose that shared parameter which we just created. There it is, the assignable parameter. We're going to group that under the room's identity data and then associate it with our room elements. Click OK. And again, click OK to close that. Now, if we select a room in our model views and look in the Properties palette, under the Identity data, you'll see that the Assignable parameter exists as a checkbox that we can turn on or off. Now, selecting all of the room elements in our model views to set a value for this property would be a time-consuming task. So let's create a schedule that includes this parameter that will make it easy to assign its value to many rooms quickly. Let's open a room schedule that's already been set up for this project and adapt it as needed. If we open the room schedule, you'll see that we have a listing of all the different rooms grouped by the level, indicating what the name of the room is, as well as reporting the area of each of the different spaces, and subtotaling those areas, and giving a grand total which reports the total area of the building. Go ahead and note that total area of 26,949 square feet. We'll need that later when we're computing the percentage of assigned space to the total area of the building. Let's duplicate that room schedule. Open the duplicate, and we'll give it a new name. Let's call this our Space Utilization Summary. Then we can add that new assignable field by choosing the fields, finding assignable in the list of available fields, and adding it to our fields. When we say OK, you'll see that the field appears in our space utilization summary, and it's now available for us to click off to indicate that specific spaces are assignable versus not assignable. Let's continue by adding some new calculated values to the schedule that will help us compute the percentage of space in the building that is assignable. Let's edit the schedule again, opening the Fields tab, and we'll create some new calculated values. The first one will be a field called Assignable Area. That'll be one that reports an area, and the formula for it will be fairly simple. It'll be if space is assignable, and let's choose the assignable field. If that's true, report the area. If that's not true, just go ahead and report zero square feet. Using this formula, if a space is designated as assignable, its area will pass through. If it's not assignable, zero will pass through. Let's say OK and close that field. Let's add another calculated value. 
This one will be computing the assignable area percentage. This one will be a number field. And the formula for this will be assignable area. Let's click to select the field from the list. And we're going to divide that through by the total area of the building, which is the 26,949 square feet. Let's say OK to close that field, and we'll add one more calculated value. And that's going to be the net to gross percentage. It'll be the area divided by that same total area, 26,949 square feet. Before we return to the schedule, let's do a little formatting. Let's format those two percentages so that they look like percentages. We'll say that's a percentage. Let's show the percent symbol and show two decimal places. Similarly for net to gross. Let's format that as a percentage. Show two decimal places. And also show the percent symbol. Let's right align those two fields. And then let's add subtotals to the assignable area, the assignable area percentage, and the net to gross percentage. When we click OK, these new parameters will show up in our space utilization summary. Let me expand the columns so we can read the headings. And then as we check on or turn off the assignable field for any of the different spaces in the building, you'll see that the assignable area percentage is updated for that room, updated for the floor, and also updated for the entire building. So we can very quickly enter the values and make changes when needed. We can also display the information about whether spaces are assignable graphically in our plan views. Let's open the first floor plan view and see how that works. We can add color fill legends to our plan views to graphically portray information about the rooms that's stored in the building model. Let's switch to the Home tab, choose the legend, and place one next to our floor plan. We'll just choose the existing scheme department for now. Since departments aren't yet assigned to these spaces, it currently shows as a series of white spaces. Let's choose that legend and we'll edit the scheme that's used for color coding the spaces. We'll choose Edit Scheme from the Contextual Modify tab. Create a new scheme based on Assignable. We'll change the title of the legend to be Assignable Space Legend. And then we'll choose the variable that we want to use to determine the color, in this case, Assignable. We'll say OK. We don't care about preserving the existing color scheme. We'll say OK to close this. And when we return to the floor plan view, and you'll see that the spaces which are designated as assignable are now color coded with a green tint. The color fill legend will dynamically update as we change the values for any of the rooms in the view. For example, if we now choose the lobby space, scroll down to look at its assignable variable, and choose no, when we click back in, you'll see that a different color is assigned for the non-assignable spaces. So using this technique, we can very quickly create graphical views that summarize the facilities management information in a way that's easy for people to understand.